everybody, um, Juniper Smiles here, and me talking like this is just going to be temporary. Um, I'm actually going to switch over to voiceover here when I actually start my plan with me. I just wanted to talk for a little bit before I get into it. So, as you can probably tell, my Lamome is sitting in front of me. Oh no! <laughs> so, obviously, again, I, I've... I've had the brilliant idea to switch bullet journals. I know, what's new, right? I have absolutely been loving the Lamome. I have been in love. If you have been seeing my Instagram, I have actually been sharing my spreads. This is gonna be the first time they're not gonna be blurred. So a couple of things I've done since I got this. I have been using this a lot. Um, I've been using, for a pen, I'm using the Pilot Friction. It's an erasable pen. Now, I do know that this is a pen where if it gets too hot or cold, um, ink can disappear as well as ink you've erased will reappear. I have not actually experienced any of these issues yet. I haven't had any problems, you know? Like, I haven't had any issues with, like, heat or cold. I mean, maybe if I drove and I left my journal out in, like, a car, it would make a difference, but I don't really take my journal with me unless I'm traveling. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this. Um, I'm actually wanting to get a Muji .5 um, pen which sounds very oddly specific, I know, but I'm very oddly specific when it comes to my pen. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue using this with my bullet journaling part, so just kinda to open this up here. So I did not like this color of yellow. Um, as I said in my review, this is very yellow, it's very creamy compared to even just the paper. Like the paper is like, it's, this is not white. All right, th this is white. This is still kind of like a cream color, but it's not as creamy as this. Like, try and fold this. I got paper in here now. So you can just barely see that, you know, that difference. And, you know, I'm fine with that. It's okay. It kind of adds to like an old aesthetic kind of look, um, you know. And I, I, liked, I liked that, but... I didn't want it so much, it was a little overbearing. So coincidentally, I used a yellow piece of paper. <laughs> so Marigold is one of my favorite colors. Uh, I've been using it a lot for the past like two years. Um, I decided to put that in here and then I had this die cut I got from a Happy Mail like a long time ago. And this is actually really pretty. It is like kind of like a gold holographic kind of thing. Um, foiled, that word, gold foiled. So I really like it. And then I just wrote my name. Because I don't ever take it out, I've never lost my journal. So I didn't really want to stick my number in here. Uh, I'll probably put that post-it note with my number from my Nuna. But yeah, so I instantly, like, I, I taped these down. I always do. I don't like it. But I right away just jumped into journaling. Um, I, I was actually really enjoying this. But my problem was that I was enjoying this so much that I stopped using my bullet journal completely. I have been playing catch up in my bullet journal for the past, gosh, almost this entire month actually, since I started journaling in here. So since about the 9th, so pretty much the entire month, I have been playing catch up. I've been every like three or four days having to like jump back in and be like, what did I do like four days ago? I don't even remember. And that's not good. I don't, I don't particularly like that that's where I've been going with my journaling. So I've been actually <laughs> scouring. I have literally been scouring the, um, you know, the interwebs. This is actually my favorite spread, by the way, that I did. I've been trolling the internet <clears throat> and I've been looking for like, you know, ways that I can combine my journal with my bullet journal. So. After spending like, gosh, I want to say about like a week and a half, almost two weeks, just just trolling Pinterest, I've been trolling YouTube, I've been looking for a lot of different like sources for like, you know, how I wanted to like do this. And I've, I've definitely been inspired by a couple of different people. Um, I'm going to actually put their names up in the video just so I don't pronounce anything wrong. I will also um, post links to their pages where I got the information down in the description, so you can also follow them through there. What I did was I decided I wanted a page break in here, which is what you see here. I did this last night, and to be honest, I've had to refrain from trying to do anything so that I could do this video. Because, honestly, I felt so bad that I've just been doing like these two to like four minute, like just quick flip throughs and like me trying to rush through what I'm doing. And I don't want to do that. I really wanted to like 
take the time and like kind of show you how I actually set this up. I know that a lot of people who do follow me are going to be like, what about your Nuna? I love my Nuna, okay? I love it. I, I, I love my Nuna. But I'm not using it and that's the problem. It has nothing to do with I'm switching because you know, I, you know, I want to try something new or I'm switching because, you know, I, I got a new journal. You know, that's not what I'm doing. I, I love my Nuna. I've been struggling so much on this because I feel so torn. I've been using a Nuna for, you know, since last year, almost the beginning of the year. So for me to go from using a Nuna that I've been obsessed with to I don't even touch it, I feel guilty. And I feel that you need to use your bullet journal. And yes, I've been really enjoying the minimal connecting with things method, but I've been really enjoying my journaling lately. I've been enjoying decorating this and getting it set up and doing what I've been doing with it. And I think that right now for where I am in my life, because I've been having to express my thoughts more, and to be honest, a lot of my tasks are very similar. I'm not tracking very many things. I don't have collections. I, I'm literally jumping right into April. So I think that because I've started doing what I, I've been doing with my journaling, that this might help me. And then I will still be picking it up. And, you know, I'm still going to have a habit tracker in here. You know, I'm still going to have my essentials that I do need to help me with certain things. I'm still going to have them, but... With where I'm at in my life, I think this is what I need to do in order to stay productive, remember what I have to do, but not feel guilty because I'm not doing it, you know? So it, it's supposed to be a system that, you know, is catered to you and works for you, and that's what I'm trying to do. I just need to make some changes. And it might not be permanent, you know? I might change it. I don't know. We're going to see how this goes. I'm going to jump into this and hopefully...
into the night I raise my hand to the fire But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light It's me, Juniper, here at the end of the video. I wanted to talk a little bit before letting you guys go. Now, the first thing that you are probably noticing here is that the intro clip I shot, as well as my ending flip through, shows a different result for my cover page. Now, this video was filmed over the span of two days, and during that time, I realized that I did not like my cover page, I was very displeased with a couple of things, and I made some changes, and it was really quick, it was easy. You know, I sat there looking at it for a while, and just decided to do it for peace of mind, and I really like how it came out now versus how it was in my initial recording. So, a couple of things before I go. Most of my supplies are from the Planner Society kit like the washi tape as well as the decorative paper, stuff like that. The black washi tape is not from Planner Society Kit. I will post links to all of my supplies in the description as well as links to my Pinterest so that if you would like to get access to any of the pictures I used, you can do so. Some of these are from the We Heart It app, however, I'm not sure how to share my profile on there. I'm pretty sure I'm Juniper Smiles, though, on there, so if you find me, you can follow me. And, yeah, I will be sure to put that down in the description. I will also link any inspiration I got from anybody else in the description so you can check out their pages, because I was very heavily inspired this month. And I would definitely recommend checking them out. I love watching other people, and a lot of these people are amazing and significantly better at this than I am, so they're great to learn from. If you like my, you know, my work, definitely check out my Instagram. I am hopefully going to be posting more often since I'm switching to daily pages. My goal is to upload each day, you know, hopefully, or every other day. We'll see how it goes. 
I will be traveling in the middle of the month, so I will be, you know, planning ahead of time, and if all goes well, I will be recording my setup of the next two weeks after this as well, so that will be something to look forward to. Um, I will have all my links in the description, as well as links to any music, anything I've used, so you can get all of that. If you have any ideas for me on things I should do, just let me know in the comments. I love ideas for videos, hoping to be more active, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoy, give me a thumbs, thumbs up, subscribe, and happy planning!